One of these days, I will arrive at the kind of videos that I want to make and some sort of schedule-like thing or more consistency in terms of content, but I'm not quite there yet, so I'm just doing random things. So I wanted to show you guys this new bullet journal that I got for myself recently. Ooh, it's, um, yeah, this is actually the only thing that bugs me about it is that my cat's hair is just all over it. But anyways, yeah, other than that, I really, really love this journal. I got a huge one this time. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm pretty into bullet journaling. It really helps me a lot to uh, keep track of my projects and stuff. And this time I got one with different types of paper inside. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, the reason why I brought it up in the first place was because I bought this journal from... Archer and Olive, which is a brand that I've been wanting to try for a long time, but they have actually recently-ish, I don't know, like th this year I think released some pens, which I really wanted to try because they look great and they are acrylic, um, acrylic pens. So this is the package that um, they came in. So they just sent me these to try out along with the bullet journal that I got and I wanted to try to make some artwork with them. I have tested them and um, they actually work super great for the bullet journaling, but I wanted to record a video this time using them for drawing and not just like writing stuff down or whatever. Yeah, um, they're, as you can see, water-based acrylic, non-toxic um, pens. And they came in this weirdly gigantic package with some instructions and this was the casing or whatever you want to call it. I actually took them all out and put them into this little pencil case that I have because it's much easier because this thing is kind of bulky and weird. But uh, yeah, so it actually also comes with a blender. I don't know if I'll ever use this, so I'll j I just left it in here. And the reason why I left this one in here as well is because it actually kind of didn't... Oh yeah, so the tip went in and it got stuck so i couldn't get it out and i'm just I'm just gonna see one more time if i can fix it because it does come with it so the there were two extra tips here and i already tried using one to replace it but it also got stuck so i'm just gonna try it one more time i mean i don't see how it would work because it already didn't work once but maybe if i'm a little more gentle it'll work it's actually really difficult to pull it out as well so i'm gonna have to get some twi tweezers for that but stay tuned i will make the attempt but yeah so i just wanted to draw with these pens and show you guys how it will turn out and actually i bought this sketchbook the other day when i was out i've always wanted to try to draw on this like type of toned and textured paper so that's what i'm gonna do as you can see it's quite thick which is nice i also want to use it for gouache in the future but yeah for now i just want to uh try to use it with these opaque markers i think it might have a pretty cool effect but yeah, so that's what I'm doing in this video, and I'm just gonna get right to it. Okay, so regrettably, it's been a little bit longer than I thought it would be since I actually drew what you see in the video. I got super busy and honestly just had like a slew of random things come at me out of left field. I'll talk about that later, but anyways, I just sat down and looked through the footage and i put a little pros and pro and con list um so i can tell you guys about how my testing of these markers went and overall my impression is super positive i like them a lot i do like the packaging i think it's cute even though the thing that it came, the container that the markers came in was a little bit unnecessarily gigantic so i definitely it's not going to keep them in there so that i suppose that would be a con but i mean it doesn't really matter anyways so the biggest pros of using these are 
that the honestly it's the color selection to me the only thing i'm gonna say is i've never used markers like these before so i've never tried posca markers or anything even though like i know i've been really wanting to and i've seen a lot of artists do reviews and stuff and they look really fun but they kind of seem really expensive to me like they, they look i didn't compare the prices but they seem to be around the same price as like copic markers and those and i kind of grew out of buying stuff like that a long time ago just because it seems like it's a lot of money to invest for something that i don't necessarily use professionally a whole lot because the reason why i say use professionally is because like these markers and like posca markers i don't see myself making finished pieces with them if that makes any sense because i do vastly prefer gouache for making actual like complete artwork because there's just so much more control and this obviously there's like a huge range of colors to choose from even if you just buy a bunch of primary colors mixing gouache is very simple whereas with these markers you only get the colors that you buy and that can you know turn into an infinite money spending thing even though oh, they're the, the color selection is probably still a lot less than what you would get with uh, gouache i mean you get my drift it's pretty straightforward like uh yeah so that being said i can only really see these being used as something to doodle with for fun which they're great for i think um i do really wish i had more colors that's something i found myself struggling with overall i i i bought this paper actually specifically to use for opaque mediums like um these markers and gouache which i'm planning to use later on but uh yeah i think it worked out pretty well but i've never since i've never used opaque paper to draw on before i did find myself kind of struggling with the tonal aspect of it like because the, co the color selection was so limited for me i only had eight colors to choose from uh including white so it was a little bit difficult to work around the fact that some of those were tonally like really close to the paper and actually the gray looks a lot like the paper which i ended up kind of trying to use in that i mean like kind of work around that i guess if that makes any sense but anyways i mean that's a total digression of the topic at hand which is reviewing the pens so the pens were great i got the thinner ones so they come in two different sizes and i got the tropical color selection which is super nice i actually really like the look of the jewel collection as well as well that's something i maybe will look into getting in the future because um like i said the color selection is a huge bonus point for me because i do find it pretty difficult to pick a color scheme out of the blue if there's so many choices so like if i were to go to the store and shop for posca markers or something like that i would probably have a very hard time picking colors that i want because there's just too much to choose from so and then i've seen i've looked around at some posca um sets that are available for sale and aside from the pastel set which is pretty straightforward and nice and would probably be similar to this even though maybe not actually like i don't see a pastel set including gray and i love the gray marker so even then like these markers are pretty unique in terms of color choice but anyways um the the sets are pretty limited a lot of them are like primary colors and i wouldn't really want to buy a set because there's a lot of markers i can see that i wouldn't even use so yeah i mean what else would I, was i gonna say um another pro is that they are very opaque and they layer super well i think that's the whole point of acrylic markers so that's that's a pro they do what they're supposed to do they're very easy to use nothing nothing crazy here you just shake them up a bit and press the tip in and pe the paint slowly starts to come out and i as i mentioned in the beginning of this video I had some problems with one of the markers and it just kept eating the tip and I could not fix it in the end. So what I ended up doing was I contacted support and 
they replied super fast and they were really really nice and they did send me a new pen i haven't received it yet since i did this very recently but it was really easy to get in touch with the staff and they were super nice about it and obviously they had no issues with sending a replacement pen which is great i really appreciate when a brand has good support plus uh it looks like a relatively small brand as in i mean i'm not sure how many employees they have but it looks like it was started by one person and i really like all their products i love the journals that i got so much and uh yeah i just i really like um supporting i guess smaller brands if that makes any sense even though they are super professional and their uh their products are obviously top quality and probably better than a lot of like big brands that you would see out there so yeah i mean i think the the markers are relatively new of a venture for them because i think they did come out sometime like earlier this year or something but yeah like i said the colors are absolutely wonderful and i really want to get another set actually <laughs> oh okay so now i can get into a like a couple of cons that i had so the first one is the plastic tip i'm not a huge fan of because it is a little bit scratchy so if you're not careful and if you have like a death grip and press hard like i do it's easy to kind of um, leave streaks in larger areas or sometimes like you need to reposition the way you're holding or the angle at which you're holding the pen to get a clean line which is a little bit annoying uh i don't think posca markers have that problem i mean i'm not gonna keep comparing these to Posca because I've never actually used them so I'm just gonna stop talking about that but it is a relatively simple thing to get over you just have to get used to it a little bit uh, in terms of how long the tip will last I'm not sure because I've only really done a few drawings um, like the couple of drawings that you see here and I've only used them in my journal but so far they've been great and I've actually been using the the white pen as white out which works perfectly well um, yeah and it is pretty tough to fill out the large areas with the smaller tip it takes like some serious uh patience which uh, i do have a lot of but not quite this much so i was getting a little bit frustrated just makes me wish that i also had the thicker tips as well which made me think about the fact that it would be much easier to just use a brush and fill those areas in with gouache you know what i mean that's that's exactly why like my general opinion on these markers is a little bit unsure because they are expensive but gouache is such a such a obvious and good alternative i don't really understand actually i thought about it and i thought that maybe the reason why these are so popular is because it is actually quite a bit easier to control a hard tip of the pen versus a brush there's that aspect of it so i can see how for some people it might be just easier to use markers and it is a little bit faster that way for sure but i still think that gouache overall as a comparable medium has a lot more pros to it than these markers do um just acrylic markers or like opaque color markers in general i'm not talking about these specific ones um another con is they're they don't seem to be sold individually so you can only really buy them in sets so i can see how if i use one color a lot and it runs out i won't be able to replace it so easily so there's that and the last con is i think it's fair because this is a relatively small brand so i can see why their prices can't be as low or much lower than um uh, big brands big established art brands but it is a little bit pricey like the the sets come with nine colors and one shell for uh, blending i actually don't really know what the blending thing is for i haven't really used it i don't really want to because it seems like there's so little ink that could fit into or so little paint that could fit into one of those markers that i wouldn't want to like waste any of it trying to mix some sort of odd color i don't know it's a weird idea so i'm not sure about that um, oh yeah, actually, I guess it's really meant to uh, blend two colors together, like a gradient. I think it has a specific purpose that's probably more for lettering rather than drawing. So I'm just going to ignore that because it doesn't quite apply to me. But um, yeah, so essentially you just get nine markers for $34, which comes out to about 
$3.70 per marker, which is just slightly more, expen more expensive than the individual Posca markers that I looked up at, or that I looked at. Um, so I guess it's like almost the same price. Although with the Posca markers, you do get a discount if you get one of the sets. So I mean, overall, I would say it's about the same. So there's not much of a difference there. Like if you want to pick nice colors, you'll have to pick them individually anyways. And since these markers come in a set of super nice colors that all go well together, um, that's pretty convenient. And I guess the price comes out about the same anyways as if you were to buy a different type of marker individually. So yeah, and that's about it. I mean, that pretty much concludes my impressions and review of these markers i do really love this brand and i will probably buy another set just because i love these pens uh, i love the colors of these pens so much and they go super well with the paper um they go super sorry I'm just trying to organize my thoughts here <laughs> so i got this uh bullet journal that has um, different types of paper inside so it's got the craft paper and black paper and these markers are perfect for this journal because obviously they're opaque and they do layer super well so I want to get more colors just so I can decorate my journal so yeah I don't know if I'll be using them much for drawing per se but they do their job well and I do think they're perfect for journaling specifically so yeah I mean I'm not great with reviewing art materials, but hopefully this was sufficient information and I do recommend them. Like I would totally recommend them, especially for those of you who like journaling and need some sort of opaque marker because it is super convenient to have markers for journaling rather than taking out paint because like <laughs> I can't even imagine using gouache for the purpose of journaling. It just sounds like a huge pain in the ass and it would be way too much work to get out all the stuff needed to get the colors that you want. So yeah, these markers are great for bold journaling and I suppose that's pretty much what they were made for anyways, but I decided to use them for art and <laughs> here we are. So yeah, this video is relatively short compared to my other videos, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will follow up pretty soon with a new one. I just started on Inktober and I wanted to tell you guys about what my plans are and such and such. And I also recently opened up my new shop and it's got my art books in it and a bunch of prints that I still have. Yeah, if you wanted to support me, that, that would be one of the ways that you can do it. But anyways... Thank you so much for watching my content and coming back to my channel and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!